now I'm going to explain the steps required for installing QLA on the home page superiorprofit.co you can go to login and then install there are installation steps for multiple products you can look at the prerequisite for q elite it will be the trade station latest version it has to be already installed in your computer then you can click on the install steps that will take us to the forum post where all the steps are mentioned you need to follow the steps one by one okay also agreeing to the user agreement etc they don't pop up they are available on the site if you are installing we assume that you have read the user agreement i don't know how many people actually read like facebook user agreement <laughs> okay then the next step all of you when you subscribed you received an email that has a personalized link or it has a login and password you could either click on the personalized link that will open a page or you could go to this login page and that will open a login page let me go to the personalized page directly so this is a login page i could log in here you could log in on your computer and it will show you a screen similar to what i am trying to load let me see if i can i saved the link yesterday and it should open a page what will be on that page is already here so i can come here now what you will see a page like this and you will see your product it may be qled you may be q global you click on that and that will download the system the next step will be go to contact information and in contact information you will see these fields account number one account number two for q elite in account number one please put your trade station login id trade station login id so if your trade station login id is sagarnandi you put that if it is superior profit you put that and remember to click the update information then when you log into trade station it will validate that the login that you used in trade station is it the same that you recorded in this profile if they match it will plot the indicators properly cannot load but it's okay even if it is not loading now for some reason i'm i saved the link but anyway that, that is the step that we take to register our registration login id with the license control system then you look at the download file let's look at the downloaded file in the q elite downloaded file that will be a zip file you have multiple files under that and folders you can drag and separate them into a particular folder it has a trade station 10 folder you copy the trade station 10 folder and go to your documents here is also a trade station 10 folder you simply paste it and it is asking replace the files in destination you say yes but because i'm demonstrating it's a live system i don't want to mess things up trade station is running now in your case you will say replace all the files it will not touch any trade station file it is only going to create entries for q that is what we do with the trade station 10 folder 
Now there are two DLL files, QLE, no, two DLL files, these two. You copy these two DLL files, then go to the program files, trade station 10 program and paste the DLL files. Again, the DLL files are already here. Probably it's okay to, okay, because trace station is running, it is not allowing me to, but in your case, close trace station, then it will allow you to copy the DLL files into this program x86, trace station 10 program. That is the folder where all the trace station DLLs are there and we'll copy two of our DLLs also there, VL1 and global variable. Then the last two files that we have, one is readme, we can ignore the readme for now. We have one technical analysis, ELD file and one archive file. You can double click on the technical analysis file and it will ask you what to do. So we can select everything. By default, they are selected or to be extra cautious, you can click select all, click next. Again, everything is selected by default, but to be extra cautious, click select all and finish. If you finish, it will create all the queue indicators, everything, indicator, paint bar, whatever we need for queue in the system. I will not do it because we have a live system running now. If you click finish, it will do that. Then the last file that is there in the download is an archive file. What do you do with that? It has some macros and keyboard layouts. You come to trade station, file, backup and restore, choose restore. Browse to the location where we downloaded it. Choose that archive. It has only keyboard layouts and macros. Doesn't overwrite anything that comes with trade station. It's only queue things and you can start restore. I'm not doing it because the system is running. Once you do that, you close trade station and reopen it. And then all the charts, all the sonars, you will start seeing they are displaying properly and the colors are coming. So long as the colors are coming, then the system is on. If the license control system doesn't have the exact login ID that you are using to log in, then you will not see the queue indicators displayed properly. Or if the DLLs are not there in the folder, then also it will give error probably. Also, we have to copy the registration 10.1 folder into documents folder. All the steps have to be carried out. Once you do that, close registration and restart registration. That's all that is needed. Let's go through the steps again. I explained how to register the login ID then do the backup restore. Okay, I also mentioned in case you want to be cautious, you may backup first so that nothing is messed up. Usually it's not required, but no harm doing a backup first. Then do the restore of the one archive file that comes. And that is all. Once you do that, you have to station queue install. Now about learning the system, there are many things. They are color coded, they are simple, but there are still many things. A lot of educational material are there under education. There are a lot of information. I sent out a suggested sequence. If you are new to the QLE, please follow the sequence. It may be boring sometimes, but to make best use of the system, use that sequence, that is the most effective way of learning and applying the system. And it will also suggest joining the live webinars and watching the video, so on and so forth. For canceling PayPal subscription, you just log into your PayPal account, then you may cancel it there. We don't have control over your PayPal account. Is there any question that you have? If not, then we'll end today's session. 
and I want my presentation. Thank you for attending. I oh, not this one. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in the next webinar. Have a great week and trade profitably.